These are extremely full this morning <laughs> after a rib eating fundraiser between police, fire and news outlets. Three News reporter Taylor Alanis got her hands dirty as she found out firsthand how your donations are bettering our first emergency responders. You know, you're going to cook ribs. We get to come eat them. We'll do it. And prepared to chow down at Texas Roadhouse. We work badge against badge against badge. Bring everybody together for a little fun competition. And this is always a good time. Corpus Christi police, fire or the media. Who was going to take home that trophy? Three, one, two, three, go. Well, some went straight to the bone and others. I'm hungry. They're so good. <laughs> it was a fierce competition, but in the end, and for the third year in a row, the Corpus Christi Fire Department took home the win. You know, you can get a call at any moment, and uh, once you do and you're in the middle of chow, you may not eat for a little while, so you've learned to get it down as fast as you can. So it's a, you know, it's a skill of job. And it was all a little friendly competition for a good cause. We support 16 counties, over 2,000 athletes. All the money raised for Special Olympics stays in our area. The event continued through Tippecop, where officers served customers and asked for donations for the Special Olympics South Texas. Not only are we raising funds, but we like the idea that we're spreading awareness and letting people know who we are and even meet some of our great athletes. Athletes grateful to have their community come out and support them. They helped us to travel for like our uniforms, medals, everything we get for the Special Olympics. Ready for next year, Taylor Alanis, you did great. 3 News. Yeah, thumbs up. You know, she's licking those thumbs too. Well, it's awesome. Amazing. Looks really good. Oh, yeah.